Yokai Watch is a role-playing adventure game released in Japan in 2013, but it's finally got an English release, so we're excited to check it out. If you've ever played Pokemon, Yokai Watch will feel very familiar. You'll find Yokai, befriend, and battle them. But while this initially looks like a Pokemon clone, it's much more accurate to call it an evolution of the Pokemon formula. Evolution? Get it? Because Yokai and Pokemon evolve? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Darren. Uh, but you're right about it being the next step for the genre. The combat is active and multi layered, but you can enjoy it at whatever depth you choose. In fact, you don't even have to do anything during a fight, the game will automatically resolve it. But there are a number of mini games that you can complete to use your Yokai Soul Timid ability to do extra damage or enact a buff or debuff known as an In Spirit. <laughs> The mini games are fun too. While they're not very difficult, they're short and varied enough to remain entertaining. Affirmative. You can also use items during battles to either refresh your yokai or try to make enemy yokai like you. This encourages them to hand over their medal, which then lets you call upon that yokai to assist you. I really liked how you made friends with the yokai. It makes you feel like the yokai are independent beings who are going on a journey with you rather than, you know, creatures you're capturing against their will. Yeah, it reflects a warmth and charm that's woven throughout the game. The world is populated with friendly citizens, and the yokai are full of personality. I really liked the way that they said their own names. It felt like I was getting an insight to who they really are. Cough, cough! <laughs> yes, and it's all wonderfully weird, isn't it? For example, this boss fight has two grandpas in towels dancing on the side. The dialogue is also really quippy and self-aware, which is great for older spawnings too. I just think there's a really nice balance to this game, which makes it seem really well thought out. Oh, the game is almost as polished as me! Oh, uh, there's nicely animated cutscenes. What? Who was... who said that? The voice acting is rich and personable, uh, which makes the game feel expansive very early on. Come on out, my friend! Do your thing! Summoning Charming! Uh, this is also a wonderful example of drip-feeding mechanics in the right way. Uh, you never feel hampered or confused, which is a really delicate balance. Yeah, there's just so much going on in this game. Like these Terra Time sections, where you have to run away from Oni and his minions and find the exit before being caught. Mm, all these mini-games and mechanics keep the game feeling fresh, and the game plays out episodically with little story quests that neatly wrap up. I really like this because it gives a great sense of direction and progression and solves some of that grindiness that, to be honest, I think Pokemon kind of suffers from. There's also side quests and favours spread throughout the game and wild yokai to battle. I liked having a few different ways to level up my yokai, though I always found the story missions most interesting. My one complaint, however, is that you can't seem to set side quest waypoints. This was a bit annoying because it can be really hard to tell where you're going. And the game is pretty big. Yeah, there are a lot of areas to explore. Haunted puzzle mansions, forests, towns, and there are a lot of bosses to fight too. And these are always a nice surprise and feel rather different to the normal battles. They're tough, aren't they? And I could feel the tension of a difficult battle, often only winning by the skin of my teeth. What did you think overall, Bajo? Well, this has been wildly successful in Japan, with numerous anime, manga and games already being released, and I can see why. This is a delight. I'm giving it four and a half out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, I loved every bit of this. It was always fun, and it kept me on my toes the entire time. I'm giving it five out of five rubber chickens. Yeah.